scale the wall <laughs> to get there. There were people that were starting to climb the scaffolding. And we just pushed and pushed and pushed and pushed and yelled go and yelled charge and on and on and on. Midlander Jenny Cudd and LAL Rosa in more hot water involving the riots at the U.S. Capitol. They both face five more charges and this time they're federal. They're felonies. That's our top story tonight. Hello everyone, I'm Crystal Cruz. Cudd and Rosa had been facing two misdemeanor charges, but things just got a whole lot more serious. Tatum Gwynn has been looking over the new charges. Tatum, what are they accused of doing? Yeah, Crystal, today's charges are in addition to the two misdemeanors they were charged with last month. Here's a breakdown of each of those charges. We have obstruction of an official proceeding, entering and remaining in a restricted building or grounds, disruptive conduct in a restricted building or grounds, disorderly conduct in a Capitol building, and parading, demonstrating, or picketing in a Capitol building. Each of these federal criminal charges could carry jail time. It varies for each of them. Take this one, for example, obstruction of official proceeding. That carries a maximum of 20 years in prison. That's according to the U.S. Code. Cut and Rose said they were scheduled for a second virtual hearing with the judge in Washington, D.C. today, though Cud's attorneys filed the motion to push back that hearing for at least 45 days. And uh, something else to note that we've been keeping an eye on, what could all this mean for Cud's requested trip to Mexico? Well, still no word on a judge's decision on whether or not to allow Cud's request to travel to Riviera Maya, Mexico later this month for a bonding retreat with her, her employees and their spouses. Crystal?